Hello guys, my name is Sam and I'm back with another video. And today we're going to be doing another get ready with me. Girl, I know y'all ain't tired of these get ready because y'all be getting into these. So we're going to have a little story time today, girl. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go in with my sensitive Navia Shade Balm. And we're just going to prime up the skin just a little bit. You know, I'll be going in with 12 primers. I moisturized already. I used the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Cream. I'm just going to go ahead and prime the skin just a little bit. You want to pat it until it gets that tacky feeling. And I'm sorry, guys, if you can hear the rain in the background. Ain't nobody got time for that. And this story time was the time that I, I found out I was black. Wait, so we're going to get started into this video. Uh, today, the foundation I'm going to be using is going to be the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. Y'all know I've been testing out this. Um, what is this? The Super Stay Full Coverage Complete Foundation by Maybelline. I'm not a big fan, so I'm just have to go back to Miss Cat Mundy over here. She's my, she's my boo. She's my everything. She tells me left from right, my right from left, my back to front, my you know. She, she's my girl. You know, I always knew I was black, but the time I really found out that I was black is I went to Boaz with. I went to go see one of my friends. We're gonna name him Tyler, cause his name was Tyler for real. I mean, you don't care if I put his name out there. No one cares. Anyways, I went to Boaz to see my friend Tyler. And um, we had fun. We went to eat at Waffle House and we rode around. We went to Walmart, made some jokes, made some puns at Walmart. And you know, he likes to talk junk and stuff like that. And so, I decided to leave Tyler's house. And so, as I was leaving Tyler's house, I met a few friends. Anyways, back to the story. I forgot to tell. Anyways, when we was at Waffle House, he had some friends there. And we come outside, they're like, Tyler! Or Tyler Cagle. They're like, Tyler Cagle, is that you, boy? You know, because they're country. They go to that school in Crossville. I'm not saying nothing about Crossville people. I've never really met any Crossville people besides Tyler Cagle, his brother. And, you know, we leave in Waffle House and they're talking about his shoes. You copped up them shoes, boy. I don't know what, I don't even know what kind of shoes they, cause you know, I don't care about no shoes. I'm down for what kind of shoes they is. And that's it. Come on, Foundation, look at you. Uh, I take him home. And I drop him off at his place. And as we're leaving his place, you know me, I'm snack tracking, driving, and I ain't paying attention to the road. So I'm swerving off the road. Cause that's the usual. I'm not really swerving off the road. He said I was swerving. So I got pulled over. And the time that I found out I was black is when I got pulled over in Boaz. And he asked me, how do you afford your car? Excuse me? What do you mean? Because I'm an African-American, big African-American man. I can't afford a nice car. Do you know me? Do you even know where I come from? Like, you even know what state I'm from, of course. Because, like, they didn't ask me for my license. Oh, yeah, they asked me for my license, but then they asked me for my insurance. And I'm like, okay. I'm just lucky that they gave me off. And they kept asking me questions. Where are you coming from? Um, who's your friend you were with? Where his house is at? So I tell them. And I'm like, can I start? And then they're going to be like, can I search your car? Sure, go ahead. Do you have any drugs or anything in there? I'm like. No, why would I? And, you know, it's just... I don't know if they do that to every race. But I feel like I was getting profiled. I mean, he made me mad because, like... You don't ask me how I afford my car. I guess he was trying to assume that I sold drugs, which I do not. I've never even done drugs. But, you know, that might be hard for them to believe because I'm black. Of course all black people are gonna 
do some drugs. At least that's the stereotype these days and times. I don't have time for drugs. I work all the time. I make YouTube videos every single day. I don't have time to be doing drugs. I don't have the money to afford the drugs. You see this car that I'm driving? I ain't got no time to be talking about no affording drugs or looking for some drugs or whatever he thought I was doing, but I'm gonna need him to stop, baby. I realize that people just want something to talk about and they're gonna find something to talk about either if you tell them or they just wanna assume something from you that you sell drugs or you're doing drugs or you bought your car with drug money. Oh, honey, I didn't drop, I didn't buy my car with no drug money. I don't even know what drug money look like. If I did, girl, my car would look a lot nicer than this, boo boo. It's, and I was watching Grey's Anatomy. Girl, if y'all haven't seen this episode, y'all better skip through this. Anyways, when um, there was this little boy and he got shot for going through his window. Like, he forgot his keys in the inside and his parents was at work and he got shot in the neck because he forgot his key in the inside and they thought he was breaking in because he lived in a nice neighborhood and he wasn't I guess the police thought that it couldn't be his house and he was just breaking into there. But you know, why can't you ask questions before you shoot? Did you see him with a gun? No. I, it's just stuff like that. It's Black History Month. That's why I'm talking about this stuff on here. I mean, I usually don't talk about that stuff. And um, I, I'm not going to say that I don't care. I do care. But... Other people don't. They're just going to come on here and be like, you're just, just because you're black, you just want to talk about stuff like that. I'm like, no, it's a serious problem going on in this world that need to be fixed. And uh, we can't have it, it can't be fixed if nobody's talking about it. I'm not saying just black people. I'm talking about people with melanin skin. We have Asians, we have Indians with dark skin, brown skin. We got Hispanics, which... They have some of them that's darker than others. And, you know, they profile them too. We don't want to be profiled like that. And we are people. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz for a day. Because I don't know how darker skinned people live. I know how I live. And I sometimes get made fun of for the color of my skin. And I'm like... You know, I'm a big guy, and you know, people don't make fun of big people like that. But, you know, it really doesn't matter to me, because I know the way I want to live my life. And I don't even know why I think, I don't I don't care about them complaining, because, or talking about me, do you realize I am a gay black male? I get more hate than anyone that I know that's black and the people that watch my, my YouTube channel and other YouTube channels. If you sit here and watch my whole entire video, kudos to you, because that's what I be doing. I be going to other people's channel and they be having 25 to 60 minutes long and I be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was supposed to be filming with my niece, which I wanted to film with a lot of people of color this this month. She didn't show up. She finna get fired again. I already fired her once, but then I hired her back, because you know. I didn't feel bad for her, but, you know, I just hired her back. But she hasn't been. And she's like, what time do you want me to come? It doesn't matter. And it's not late. Because she know I upload. I told her I upload every day at 8 o'clock. And I wanted to film her video today. And I wanted to put it up today. Where you at, boo? And now I'm just going to bronze up the skin a little bit. As you can see, I'm looking a little pasty. Not really pasty because I'm not I'm not white, so I can't say I'm pasty. But I'm just gonna take it, I'm just gonna bronze up the skin just a little bit with this bronzer brush. The double chin for you can't see her no more. We're just gonna pop her out real good for you can't tell she's there. And she ain't trying to make an appearance. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of her. We're just gonna take her down here, we're gonna blend her out, you see. And I think I'm gonna go tonight to see the movie. What is that, 50 Shades of Free or something like that? I guess I'm about to go sit by myself because I don't have, nobody wants to go with me. I don't have friends. Into this palette right here? I think so. And we're just gonna go in, you know, starting corner over here. Make sure you have your eyes open for you can see. 
or you're placing the product, just really go in and blend it out some more. Anyway, I want to talk about, I was singing a song in my video yesterday. I was singing a song in my video yesterday, and they cut it out. I don't even think it was more than five seconds on freaking YouTube. I love YouTube to death, but they just be messing up stuff most of the time. In my videos, they muted me while I was singing. It was supposed to be part of my staple piece, and you know, yeah, I'm down for it as long as my videos still monetized. They'll be trying to demonetize my videos, and I'm just gonna cry one day. Just kidding, I don't really care about that pocket change that they be trying to give me, anyways. Anyways, I want to talk about a lot of people want to ask me if I'm going to do merch. If y'all really do want merch for my channel and for me, please uh, comment down below and let me know. I guess I'm going with the purple and the waterline as well. And we're going to smoke up the bottom lash line. Before I get started on the lashes with mascara, we're just gonna go in and spray this face to set it in place. I'm always quiet when I do mascara because I always mess up on something that isn't. I'm gonna mess up somehow, some way. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't really do my lips. I thought I was gonna do them and then my camera talk turned off and I'm like, I guess it's done, so I'm done. But what do y'all think about this face look? Do you think I snatched up this double chin just a little bit? Do you think these eyes are good if I had some lashes on or without lashes? Um, how about the brows? Are they kind of flaky? How about the skin? Is it smooth? I think it's smooth. I like the way it looks. I would go out looking like this. Mm. Just give me your thoughts down below in the comments. And don't forget the... The, 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 the giveaway is still going on. So if you would like to check that out, it's still going to be in the videos, my last and the next video. So check out the rules for that. And I'll put the videos down below. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time with another video because I'll come and make videos every single day for you guys. Thank you. Bye.